The last uh, slides, last file, we showed how to get the electric field into origin due to this arc of charge. Now, that's not the way you're going to solve problems when you solve problems in the homework or in an exam. That way of solving the problem is just to illustrate the idea. In these slides, we want to explain how you would actually solve the problem uh, quickly for a homework problem or for an exam problem. So the same procedure we follow as we did for the line, the, the, the straight line. You identify first an element of charge somewhere on the arc. Don't take the element of charge to be at the beginning or at the end. Take it somewhere in the, in the middle. And the angle where this element is located is called theta. And then try to find what the magnitude of the electric field is due to this element at the origin. So that's what we call DE. DE is the electric field only due to this small element of charge located at angle theta. So this, ele this electric field is the electric field due to a point charge. So we have KE DQ over R squared. Okay, now DQ, as we showed in the previous uh, file, we can write as lambda DL, charge per unit length times the length. And DL is the arc length. And DL, for mathematics, we know that DL, the arc length, is R times the angle. So R times D theta. So this way we've re written the magnitude of the, of the electric field uh, in a simpler way, by canceling here the R, with the, one of the R's here, we get Ke lambda d theta over R. So this is the magnitude of the electric field due to this element of charge here. From the previous file, we know that we can't add this, we can't sum this quantity, the magnitude, because we have to add the electric field as a vector. Every single element of charge on this arc produces an electric field vector. We have to add these vectors as vectors. So the way to proceed in the problem is we have to find the X component first and then add those because all those have the same direction. And then we have to find the Y direction and add those because all those have the same direction. So uh, we separate the problem into two parts. For X direction, and for y direction. So for the x direction, if you want to get dx, dx is the x component of the electric field due to this element of charge dq. We put the minus sign like before because if this charge is positive, it's going to produce an electric field in the negative direction. So that's why this minus sign is there. dE is the magnitude of the electric field we got in the previous slide, and cosine theta is to get the component in the x direction. For dEy, we do the same thing, you get the minus sign. The minus sign is because if this charge is positive, then it will produce a negative uh, electric field in a negative y direction. And then the DE is the magnitude of the electric field, or the DE is the electric field uh, due to this element of charge DQ. And then you get the sine theta to get the y component. For the x direction, uh, we can proceed by getting DEx, put DE with this, with this quantity that we got before, you get this for DEx. So this allows us then to write down a um, formula for the electric field in the x direction, the, com the component of the electric field in the x direction, due to only this element of charge dq. The next step would be to integrate, because we can add all these. These are all pointing in the same direction. So we can add all these x components together, and we can write down the integration very easily by identifying the angle of the first part of the arc and the last part of the arc and that gives us this integration which will give us then the electric field in the x direction due to this whole arc of charge. The same thing for the y direction we get dEy is minus dE sine theta put dE with its value this value which gives you this quantity and now to integrate this, we need to integrate this to add the electric field due to all the elements of charge. And we get this integration. So this is then the EY component of the, the total electric field in the Y direction is simply obtained by this integration.